Hey traders, welcome back to Tiffany Trades Options. My name is Tiffany and I love to trade stock options. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I am coming at you from West Virginia right now. Uh, we decided to take a week away and get out of the city. Uh, so that's why the background is different. So I'm in the woods right now. It's really nice, it's peaceful, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna record. So just bear with me while you see trees, possibly some flying bugs in the background, not really sure. In any event, um, I've been thinking about this topic for a few days now because as you are probably aware, when you enter in certain types of searches in your YouTube search bar, YouTube will start to feed you related content. And I have been getting fed a lot of content recently about selling naked puts and how awesome selling naked puts is and how you can make thousands of dollars selling naked puts. And I've watched a lot of those videos and a lot of them had the same message, which is selling naked puts is really fun. You can make a lot of money, you do it monthly. You can make $3,000, you can make $5,000. And yes, that's great. That's true. You can make a lot of money selling naked puts. There are a lot of stock options out there that have high options premium associated with them, which makes selling naked puts a lot of fun. But what I did not see in any of those videos, which is why I wanted to record this one today, is what happens when naked puts go bad. None of those videos talked about margin maintenance, margin maintenance requirements, it, high volatility when stocks take downturns. That's why I wanted to record this video today to talk to you guys about what it really means to sell a naked put and how it can impact your account if the stock takes a major downturn or if the stock market as a whole takes a major downturn such that implied volatility increases. So let's get into it. So there are a few reasons why you might want to sell a naked put and the first one would be that you're pretty bullish on the stock and you think that the stock price is going to continue to trend upwards. So you'll sell the put at a given strike price to collect premium. You wait for theta to decay, the value of your put decreases, which means you collect a profit. And assuming all goes well, it's not exercised before expiration, the stock doesn't take a downturn before expiration and therefore you've collected a couple hundred bucks in profit. The second reason you might want to sell a put is you want to buy the stock, but not at the current valuation. So for example, Apple right now is a stock that I have my eye on. It's trading pretty expensive. It's getting up in the 300s now, 310, something around there. I haven't looked in a couple days, but um, so I want to buy Apple, but I don't want to pay $310 for it. So let's just say I sell a long dated put July, August, or September at the 280 strike. So that means that if Apple falls below 280 before expiration, the put buyer decides to exercise their right to sell it to me at $280 per stock or per share, then I've gotten Apple at a discount because it's 280 minus the premium that I've collected. But if you're an active options trader, you're more often than not just selling naked puts to collect the premium. So that's what the focus of this video is gonna be about. So I'm not gonna lie, selling naked puts is a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy it, but I try not to overextend myself because selling naked puts can go wrong. Let me explain why. This video is going to be focused on margin accounts. Most of what I'm talking about today will not apply in the case of cash accounts. So on this channel and in my trade demonstrations, I've mentioned the word buying power pretty frequently. Another phrase for that is margin requirements or margin and maintenance requirements. This is essentially the amount of cash or securities you need to have in your account to put up as collateral so that you can start writing options. These requirements are imposed by the Federal Reserve Board, FINRA, and your broker. So the margin maintenance requirements will vary based on your broker. Sometimes brokerages like to impose additional requirements beyond what is already required. So the examples that I'm going to run through in a few minutes are based on the Chicago Board of Options Exchange calculations, but it is possible that your individual broker might have a different calculation. So, so margin requirements are really important because every stock and option that you trade in will have a margin maintenance requirement and it will vary from the underlying asset. So some of the stocks that I own have requirements of 15%, some have 20%, some have 25% or even 35% just depends on the stock, the volatility surrounding the stock and the brokerage firm sentiment about how they wanna protect themselves about that stock. So the same thing would be said for options. Options are valued based on the stock that you are trading in. Credit spreads and naked calls or naked puts, there is an additional margin maintenance requirement. So the credit spread maintenance requirement would be the width of the strikes that you've selected. So traditionally in my account, I, I generally keep my credit spreads around $5 wide. So that would be tying up $500 of margin requirement to keep the trade open. If you have a $1 wide credit spread, that would be $100 of margin maintenance requirement to keep the trade open. 
Naked puts and naked calls, on the other hand, have a different formula and a different calculation associated with them. So CBOE has a margin manual that you can look at. I'll put the link in the description below that spell out some of the basic requirements. And forgive me, I'm gonna read from a piece of paper to make sure that I get this right for you. The margin account initial requirement for opening a short put is 100% of the options proceeds plus 20% of the underlying security value less the out of the money amount, if any, and a minimum for puts of options proceeds plus 10% of the puts exercise price. This is the amount of capital that you'll need in your account in order to write the option to, or to sell the option. There is another aspect of margin that is called margin maintenance requirement, and this is as follows. For each short option, 100% of the option value plus 20% of underlying security value less out of the money amount, if any, and a minimum for puts of options market value plus 10% of the puts exercise price. That's insane. I'm gonna to talk to you about E-Trade's margin maintenance requirement. So it's 25% of the stock value minus credit collected minus the market value of the option. So I have a naked put on e on Netflix right now with the 385 strike for July 17th. I don't recommend this in small accounts. This is taking up a lot of margin. The stock value right now, it's 25% times 415 times 100, so that's $10,375 minus the credit collected. So I collected $449 on this trade, but that's because I converted it from a prior call credit spread to a naked put. So my credit collected is not necessarily what you would get if you sold a naked put on its own. Minus the market value of the option, which is 1339. So the margin maintenance requirement to keep this trade open from now until July 17th is $8,586.50. This is because the option is currently out of the money. If the option was in the money, it would be the stock value times 25% plus the current market value of the option. So if Netflix fell below $385, let's just say to 360 times 25% plus whatever the current market value of the option, that would be the, the ongoing maintenance requirement to keep that trade open and to have that much money in my account as collateral. I'm sure this is all very confusing and I apologize for that because it's, it's just something that I need to bring up to further explain why I think naked puts can go bad. The reason that naked puts could sometimes be a problem is if you overextend yourself, if you have too many of them open and all of a sudden the market takes a huge downturn. I've talked about this before, when markets take downturns, volatility increases, which means that the values of the options increase as well but markets take downturns and your stock price also decreases. And so it just totally changed the whole formula. Let's just say you're not interested in trading naked puts for collecting stocks at cheaper prices. You've overextended yourself. You have four to five on at a time. Now, all of a sudden, all of your stocks that you have naked puts on are 20% below the strike price that you have. Do you wanna buy all of those stocks at that price? Do you have enough cash in your account to cover those purchases if the buyers decide that they're going to exercise their right to assign the stocks to you. This is what this is what none of the other YouTube videos that I saw on this talked about because this can happen and it has happened to me on occasion, but this is why trade management is very important. I just want to say don't overextend yourself with naked puts. Don't sell 4 to 5 naked puts on stocks like Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Tesla, Netflix, and beyond, all of those come with high options premium, but they're also very expensive stocks. So you just need to be mindful of that. When markets take downturns, volatility increases, this can make rolling the options out not as easy as it would have been in a normal IV environment. You might have to roll them out for a debit. If you don't wanna take the brunt of the closing the position for a huge loss, you can roll it out to the long term, but just know that you're gonna be tying up a lot of buying power for a long time. Theta doesn't decay as quickly in stock options that are dated 45 days or longer, which means that if you have a super in the money naked put and you really just don't want to own the stock at that price because now it's like half the value. So for example, let's just say you sold a naked put and win at 100, it dropped to like 70 in March. You don't want to pay $100 for win, you'd rather pay $70 for it. So you decide that you're going to roll the stock option out to next January or even January 2022 just to avoid it because you think win might recover or you just want to avoid getting assigned at that price. It's going to take a lot longer for that January 2022 stock option to decay. So this will just tie up a lot of buying power from now until then. So the takeaway that I wanted to give you guys through this video was just trade management is, is incredibly important and 
the margin maintenance requirements for your stock value if you're selling a naked put is going to change on a daily basis. You want to make sure that you have enough cash reserves in your account or even security reserves in your account to cover the possible fluctuations in margin maintenance requirement. If you do not have enough cash or securities in your account to cover yourself, you're going to get what is a margin call. This is your broker telling you that you have to deposit a specific amount of money in your account to meet those requirements. And if you do not do it by a certain date, your broker will take action on their own and they will liquidate some or all of your securities or options, depending on what you have open. If you have a lot of positions open, you won't have any say over which one they decide that they're going to close. They're probably going to go for the one that has the most value to get you back to your margin requirements as quickly as possible, but you can take giant losses this way. So it's really important just to pay attention to your buying power, your margin maintenance requirements, and the naked positions that you have open, if any. I don't recommend opening up a lot of naked positions at one time. Maybe try with one. If you have a su sufficient amount of buying power in your small account, go with a lower price stock. I don't sell naked options in anything that is like Tesla. Tesla swings up and down so much and so often that you can get burned so easily even if you're on a short dated stock same thing with amazon amazon is swings wildly hundreds of points a day sometimes depending on what's happening don't get burned trying to sell naked puts in tesla or, or amazon just because the premium looks good you want to be mindful of what you're doing and when you're doing it and what's happening in the stock and the market at the same time so going back to category two where you sell naked puts because you do want to own the stock at a discounted price let's run through a few examples just to give you an idea of how this could also go wrong let's just say you have a ten thousand dollar account you have a margin account so you're not tying up the exact value of the cash you have but sell a put in snapchat at the 17 strike for july 17th you sell a put in bank of america for the 22 strike for july 17th and you sell a put in starbucks for the 70 strike for july 17th so that's 17 plus 30 plus 70 is 117 dollars times 100 which means that's eleven thousand seven hundred dollars and you only have a ten thousand dollar cash account if and this is a very rare, rare, very rare possibility, but if all of those options were in the money by expiration, and the buyer and your broker decided that they were gonna exercise all of those options, then this is more than $10,000 that you have in your account. You will have a negative cash balance in your account, which is called a margin loan. Be mindful of these because they're just like credit cards where the broker will lend you money to purchase stock, but they come with very high interest rates associated with them, so you don't want to hold margin loans for very long. This is just one more thing to be mindful of if you are selling naked puts to, to collect the stock at a discount. Just be wary of how much you have in cash collateral if for some reason the stocks were assigned to you. So I just want to go back to the basics. So I, selling naked calls really is super fun. You can make a lot of money, but I just want you guys to be mindful of the impact that selling, selling a naked call will have on your account. Be mindful of your buying power. Be mindful of the current market conditions. You can put this into practice if you are careful. I'm not trying to deter you from selling naked puts. I'm not telling you don't ever do it or you shouldn't try it. You can try it. Just be. I just want you to be careful of what happens. And so with that said, if you've made it this far, I just want you to know that I appreciate you very much. I'll be back to my regularly scheduled environment next week probably a trade demonstration video. Also as an update for last week's trade demonstration video, I put on that 250 wide credit credit spread in BABA and we saw that BABA um, took a downturn right after I opened the position and it is currently in the money for both legs, which means that if it was exercised now, the most I could lose is 150-ish dollars, depending on, I can't remember exactly how much credit I collected by sitting here, but um, I'm going to keep an eye on it for the next few days. It looked like it started to sort of make a recovery. So if we can get to 212.50 by before expiration, that'd be great. I will, again, I'll monitor it over the next few days and weeks or so to kind of see what's happening. I don't want to close too early in case the stock decides to take a, a sudden reversal and I could have avoided that. So that's what's going on with Baba. Um, I'll, I'll post an update to my Instagram later today. Uh, the SPY position is doing okay. It's going to take a while for it to get completely profitable, but... As I had mentioned in last week's video, the market is taking an upturn again, and we just hit 3,000 in, in SPY and SPX today, so that call debit spread might work out, so we'll just keep an eye on that as well. 
Again, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything that you want to see me open up a trade in, please do me a favor, drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you're interested in and what you want to see. And with that said, thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.